playing here. We'll be playing on Sandy Bay here, hopefully in a moment, once we join the multiplayer server. But we're starting off here again like we did last time. And again, just going to show you folks how you actually join the multiplayer server here from within Farming Simulator. Uh, again, it seems like we get asked that an awful lot here. So, uh, one thing I want to point out that I should have pointed out last time, and that is make sure you have your game up to date. That is probably one of the most important things that will cause the server not to show up for you. So, at the time I'm recording this, it is 1.4.4. That is the uh, version we are running here at the moment. So again, to join the multiplayer server, we're just going to go to multiplayer. And of course, if you want to create your own game, you do that from right here as well. But we're going to be joining a multiplayer game. The uh, multiplayer server here is a dedicated server for those of you wondering. Uh, you can find it under international. So if you select any of these other ones, it will not show up. So if you're joining the RDL and multiplayer server, make sure you select international. And then if we back out the search here... Typically, if you have nothing uh, in the game name or anything configured down here, this is what you should see here, a whole list of uh, you know different servers and uh, whatnot. But the uh, easiest way to find it, just leave everything down in the bottom here blank. Just leave it the default, you know, all maps, no password, game, language, etc., etc. Uh, for the game name, though, just type in R.D. Allen. In fact, I don't think you even have to type in all of it. And just uh, click refresh there. And both sh servers should show up. And again, this is dependent. If your game is not up to date, they will not show up. So important thing to note there. Uh, one other thing I'll note as well. Um, you'll notice on server 1 here, I got a little exclamation point. That means I'm missing something to join that server. And I think I know what it is. But we'll just uh, show you folks here. What you can do is go down to details and see what mod you are missing. Yes, we're missing the uh, John Deere 8530... And I'd like to say it's the mass storage as well. Oh, I guess I'm missing a couple other ones. Oh, yes, there it is, mass storage. Look, like I'm missing maybe four mods here to uh, join that server. I think actually these are a couple of updated mods, actually. So, uh, by the way, the uh, download mods link down here, I don't think that will actually work for you. In most cases, it's probably not. So, uh, you do need to use the links that are in the video below. Or if you join us on TeamSpeak, we have all the information on TeamSpeak there as well. But anyway, let's uh, join uh, Sandy Bay here. Obviously, again, when you click Start here, it's going to ask you for the password. And that password can be found on the TeamSpeak server. Okay, and with that, we are now on the multiplayer server there. And again, like I said, just make sure your game is up to date. And of course, you will have to have the mods downloaded to join. And we are joined by uh, Chris here on the multiplayer server here at the moment. Looks like he is working on some bailing. So we're going to start off by wrapping up these bales here. And like we were discussing there last episode, uh, we went ahead and reconfigured. See, do I have the automatic? Uh, oh, I do. Okay, good. It's on. Uh, we went and re ahead and reconfigured this uh, trailer here. Um, and now there's more like a flatbed trailer. Uh, just with sides on it. So you can go ahead and open it all up. And in order to do so, you actually have to be outside of the truck here. No, we don't want that one. Got to find the right spot here. So yeah, open plane, I believe, is the one we want. So keypad four. See, it's kind of cool. It actually opens up all the little hooks there. Slides back. And then we can do dismount planks. That kind of opens up the side. I don't know if you actually have to do that to uh, use the auto load on this trailer or not. But at least this way you can actually see what's in there. Um, the back doors do open. Then you have the same options on this side here. So keypad 4. I don't know if you can press that anywhere. No, I think you do have to be standing in the right spot. I got a couple rows down there, don't I? Yeah, there's looks like at least one row down here anyway. And keypad 5 there again. Again, of course, the uh, top and the uh, the back and the front are still on yet. But like I said, now you can load bales on it. And I believe it was 40 bales that uh, trailer holds there. Anyway, we'll uh, get back to work here wrapping some bales. Of course, using the R.D. Allen AUL auto wrapper 
Simply means it automatically unloads the bale when it's done wrapping. Anyway, just a reminder again, anybody that would like to join us on the uh, multiplayer server is welcome to do so. Uh, download links and information for joining the server can be found in the uh, description below. Uh, there should be two download links for each server. Uh, first download link should download all the mods needed to join the server. Uh, make sure you extract that uh, download when you are done, as it will download all the mods into one zip file. So you will need to extract that and put, put that in your mod folder. And then the second download link should take you to the server download page where you can download the mods individually. Uh, that's particularly good if you're just missing, you know, one or two mods or you've updated a mod. Like yeah, I'll tell you it's two. I was standing on the other side of the trailer there. I only seen one. Oh. <laughs> And then, of course, we have a uh, TeamSpeak server as well, which, again, that is the little window there on the uh, right-hand side. You can see uh, we got server 1 and server 2 there. So we got uh, four people up in the uh, server 1 TeamSpeak channel there. And then just uh, me and Chris here down in server 2 TeamSpeak channel. And, uh, by the way, for those of you wondering, the reason I am listed twice there... The uh, second one is actually being listed so I can capture it with the OBS Studio here. So you can actually see the uh, TeamSpeak window as well. So that's why I'm in there twice. And of course, the uh, the RD Allen recording name there, that is actually the... Uh, name I'm actually under and using. And the reason they're both muted, by the way, too, is so we don't get any uh, feedback here. You do that quickly. That's a lot of rep bales already. Uh, it doesn't take too long, usually. This one wraps them a little bit faster than the in-game one, too, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, is it? We found a uh, round baler. And it also wraps the bales, too. Oh, kind of like the Yakun uh, does? Yeah, it's uh, the McHale. Oh, okay. McHale Fusion 3. Does that one actually make silage bales, then, though? Oh, uh, it makes the wrap bales. It bales it, then it wraps it. Okay. Duck, we haven't found a square baler yet. Yeah, that would be nice. Or a uh, square bale wrapper. Yeah. That too. <laughs> I, I guess mainly the wrapper, isn't it? We got balers already. Oh, yeah. Oh, we missed that one. Did you uh, ever figure out, can we uh, convert that trailer back to a grain trailer for free? Or do we have to pay for it every time? I think we gotta pay for it every time. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. I believe I showed that in last episode, if I remember correctly. 
But again, for those of you who haven't seen it, that uh, particular trailer there, it's listed once in the shop. And under the uh, shop list in there, it has three different uh, configurations it can be put into. Uh, basically, just a plain box trailer. There's already a lot of building on this trailer already. Yeah. We got a lot more to do. Yeah, it's definitely filling up. A uh, regular Move box trailer, flatbed. To the east of us, too. Oh, is that mode two? Uh huh. It'd be wind road and and wrapped. Okay. Oh yeah, there's uh, like three bales down by the DMC down there. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the ones out of the uh, hedge here a moment. Oh okay. Hey, at least we got more of an area to mow now. Since we got rid of all those trees. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, this field's already been plowed and seeded as grass. Oh, you redid this uh, grass field? Uh huh. Okay. They also planted 19 grass too, because it's right by the GA. Okay. Hopefully we're uh, close enough for this uh, one bale hiding in the hedge here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah we got I maybe three more here yet. I threw you since it's been fixed. Oh, okay. That's right. I need to upload that to this server, too, here. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, there's a few more John Deere mods up for you, too. Oh, okay. I found a John Deere pack. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, I don't think. Uh oh. Uh, one row done. On the truck, on the trailer. It was what, 40 bales it holds? I think so, but I'm not for sure. Because it goes 10 across the bottom and 9 on the top. Oh, okay, so that'd be 38 then. I think so. That's more than the Big Daddy trailers. Yeah, I think that one's only 34, I'd like to say. Yeah, you can still see the trees under there yet. Uh, for those of you wondering, by the way, I believe it was Bull here on the uh, multiplayer server. He went through and uh, did some uh, hedge trimming, it looks like. Yeah, when I go sell these bales, I gotta fill up the truck. There's only 41 liters left in it. Okay, there we go. I think that's all the bales in the hedge, at least on this side, anyway, from the looks of it. Anyway, we'll uh, read some comments here in a moment. Uh, Samuel was saying, good video. Andrew was saying, I have a problem where I get 1 to 5 FPS, uh, even though I have a 4790K. That's a CPU, by the way, for those who are wondering. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM and a 980, which uh, 980, again, graphics card, same one I would have there. Well, maybe not the exact same version, but a 980. Uh, he's wondering what uh, he can do to solve that. 
Uh, he's wondering, you know, mod conflict. I would definitely probably have to agree with that, possibly a mod conflict. Although, unfortunately, I can't really give you any hints other than trial and error as to what actually is causing that. Um, I would say one thing, make sure your game's up to date. Make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. But after that, yeah, just start working your way through the mods. That's about all I can suggest there. But yeah, it definitely sounds like maybe you have a bad mod in there somewhere that might be uh, causing that. Uh, Magnus will say, nice video, and do you know why they don't have John Deere's for consoles? Uh, possibly licensing issues. I'm not sure if that would be the case or not. Uh, second possibility, no mod authors made one for the uh, console. I don't know if uh, having a license would be required for them to be able to have that on the uh, console or not, considering it is a mod. You know, obviously they can add them to the PCs being a mod like that. So we got quite a few of the bales here done already. Doesn't look like they look like there's too many bales left yet. Uh, there's a bunch. It looks like there's a few down by the gate down there. Okay. But I've thought about doing just mow this a few times, then bale it. Then we get some bales off of it. Get some uh, monster wind rolls like we had uh, on the uh, gift map there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to. Uh, do you know how many times that was mowed there? Six. Six, okay. I know I had a few comments from people asking how many times or how we got the wind rolls that big. Oh, from the when we were playing? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It was about five or six times, actually. Anyway, back to the comments there. David was asking, how do you get into negative money? Four more bills in a pool. Well, to get negative money, it simply just goes Three negative. More. I think it's called spending more than what you have, I believe. Uh, which, by the way, when you go negative, you can't actually buy anything. You can still, you know, refuel, seed, all that good stuff. You know, hired worker fees, whatnot. You're just not allowed to buy anything and go further negative that way. Uh, Mursu is asking, uh, I've updated my game, downloaded the mods to join your server, and now my game crashes. Uh, sounds like you have a mod conflict there. I would suspect you probably have more mods than just the ones from the server here. Um, especially bad with the mods. Uh, make sure you don't have any additional maps active. Yeah, I'd say there's about 10 bales down here. Okay. You know, typically you don't have to worry about it when joining the multiplayer server. Because when you join a multiplayer server, only the mods that are on that server will be active. You know, so you don't really have to worry about deactivating and activating mods and whatnot. But uh, definitely when you're uh, doing single player or even starting the game... Might have to be a little bit uh, careful about that. And for those who are wondering, in my case, I do only use one mod folder. I'm not using any uh, mod folder switcher or anything like that currently. I know there are several people here, especially on the uh, multiplayer server, that uh, use mod folder switchers. And that uh, simply switches out the mod folders. You know, like single player mod folder and then, you know, a couple multiplayer mod folders. 
That way you don't have any uh, mod problems, or at least try to reduce any mod problems you might have. Uh, Jeffrey was saying that fertilizer tank has been the refill tank since 09. When I started, why would they change it now? Uh, talking about the uh, blue tank there on the Hobbs farm. And uh, like I've said before, that has been exactly like what Jeffrey said. It's been the refill tank for fertilizer for... I didn't realize it was 09. I know it's been uh, since like 2013. I remember seeing the blue tank. Yeah, even going all the way back to 09 there, according to Jeffrey. So, makes sense. And yeah, I don't know why it says H2O on it. It just, that's what it says. Uh, Jeffrey was saying you could have round bailed the straw. Would have made a pretty good amount of money off of that. Um, I think the reason I didn't is I assumed we probably wouldn't make that much money off just the uh, regular straw bales, but maybe we'll have to do that next time then. We'll probably have to look at getting some uh, baling equipment then, though. At least on the Hobbs farm, anyway, we're talking about. So we were saying, love the video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Delcom was saying for the tipper, is it possible to set the vertical position a few meters behind the combine? I'm sure you're aware of that, but uh, since you like to keep things in auto for easier. Uh, a little bit of money. That's good. Actually, good 30-some thousand. Yeah, we were at 32. And we're at 69,000. There we go, got that one uh, bale there. I think that's all the that's bales on here. A load. That's pretty good. That's what I'm spending right now to fill up the truck. Okay, looks like all the bales here on field four are wrapped up. Okay. Uh, which other field did you say was mowed? The area east. Oh, the little uh, section on the other side of the fence there? Yep. Okay. It's not a little section. It's pretty good size over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true, I guess. Yes. You want me to just uh, mow it again? Looks like it's already regrown. Go, cool. you want? And I'll come behind you with the wind rower. No, oh, this tractor doesn't have reverse driving, does it? Okay. We're going to put this on the front then. I don't feel like uh, trying to drive backwards here without uh, the reverse driving option. Uh, by the way, for those who are wondering, like I was saying, uh, Bull here on the uh, multiplayer server, I believe he uh, cleared these trees out. Ooh, we're going to need some weight on the back of this tractor. Go oh, actually grab. <laughs> I know the guys on the multiplayer server have been using the wind rower. Uh, not very realistic, but uh, we need some weight, so we'll grab that. But uh, like I was about to say there, a uh, bull here on the multiplayer server cleared out the trees there, and now you can actually get to that little section up there. Uh, there's like an invisible now, wall. Field three would be a heck of a grass field.
That would be a grass field. <laughs> Are we not? Oh, we missed, must have missed the connection there. I seen it show up for a second. I thought I had it, but. Having trouble hooking up with the wind roar? Yeah, I was kind of stuck in by the fence there. Oh. Uh, tractor needs some weight on it with those uh, mowers on the front. Oh, you're going to uh, mow it and uh, windrow it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's fine. I'll just grab the baler then. <laughs> it works. I'll finish picking up these and I'll be over there. I was going to just start uh, mowing it, but yeah, the back end of the tractor was like, nope. Yeah, all right. next investment is a bigger tractor. Is this the biggest one we have yet? Yep. Oh, okay. Now the trick is to find this uh, invisible spot. We oh, there we go. That we can get through here. And like I was saying, technically, realistically, you would definitely put this on the back of the tractor, but uh, means how this is not a reverse driving tractor. Again, I don't feel like uh, trying to drive backwards here. And yes, as you can probably see, this uh, field's been mowed once here already. I'm gonna mow it again so we can at least uh, see where some of this grass actually is. Anyway, comments again, uh, Nathaniel saying, great video. Uh, New Holland Farmer was saying, can you please visit the burger van on Sandy Bay? Uh, I'm not actually sure where that is, but we'll have to, I think, was that along the beach somewhere? We'll have to uh, look for that, where that is. Maybe next time we'll uh, take a look at that. Oh, stuck on the invisible wall there again. Uh, Netherlands was asking, do you have a personal grudge against the consoles? It seems like you always kick it in the dirt. Uh, I don't think I usually say much about the consoles other than I don't have one. So that's probably what, well, I've, okay, let me rephrase that. I do have a console that I never use. So I do have an Xbox 360, but like I said, I've never used it or hardly ever used it. Over here. It was in the hedge. Oh, okay. And of course, with the uh, console question, there always seems to always come the uh, question, will this mod or that mod be coming out for the console? I uh, did get a lot of questions there, you know, Rattlesnake Valley. Uh, that map is supposedly going to be coming out to the console, uh, supposedly, so we'll have to wait and see. I mean, obviously, it's up to the mod author if he wants to take the time to do so. Um, I believe that's pretty much the case with all the mods out there. Um, it's pretty much left up to the mod author's decision whether or not he wants to go through the process to get it approved to go on the console. Um, that's probably the uh, biggest hold up here at this point, getting the mods on the console as the whole approval process and whether or not the uh, mod author actually wants to go through that process.
One thing I'm noticing with the uh, mower on the front here doesn't seem to push forward quite as well. Uh, the windrows look like they're a little inconsistent when we do it this way, but it works. Oh well. Just notice that there's a road here, isn't there? So there must be another way up here. Oh, yeah, okay. So, kind of on the other side of Field 4, that looks like there's an entrance, I'm assuming, anyway. I was just going to say that. You see what's for sale. Well, we better upload to John Deere, then. <laughs> that seems like a good excuse. <laughs> but after you get done... Anyway, folks, looking at time, looks like it's about time to wrap up the episode. So with that, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to I've leave them below. And, of course, uh, if you'd like to join us on the multiplayer server here again, information is in the uh, description below. Anybody is welcome to join. As long as you play nicely, follow the rules, all that uh, good stuff. And, as always, folks, thanks for watching, and until next time.